Hello YouTube, Connor Comics here, and today I have a haul of, let's just say a couple of books, because the last time I did a haul was July, and so yeah, I'm back in end of November, start of December, um, yeah, um, I just sort of took a break because I enjoyed seeing friends too much and trying to keep on top of schoolwork and study and this sort of thing, but yeah, I'm back, um, I have three piles of books, one is like just one book, then we have like ten, then like seven, and like seven-ish, um, so yeah, we're gonna start out with this book, which I haven't continued, and I'll explain my reason why, hopefully I won't get some hate, because I know that a lot of people are fans of this writer, I just wasn't really a fan of the book, and that would be All-Star Batman issue one, now, for this first issue, I read it and nothing really popped out at me, sort of thing. Like, I read it and I was like, okay, yeah, I guess. Like, nothing really made me went, yes, I want to continue this. Now, this was sort of a shame for me because I like Scott Snyder as a writer. Like, as you can see behind, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> I have his Batman the Black Mirror, his one to four of his Batman run. I have his uh, Superman Unchained. So yeah, I'm a fan of the writer. Also, I have Witches by him, which is an image book. But yeah, I read it and nothing really, I don't know, I just didn't really enjoy it. It wasn't my sort of thing. So yeah, I dropped it. Also, just I dropped it because it's five euro. That means if three of these build up in my folder, that's 15 euro and that's for only three books. Where with these sorts of things, um, I can have five of them build up and it's only 15 euro. Oh no, that's just the way that I see it. Um, so yeah, that's All-Star Batman. Not going to continue that. I might pick it up when it's collected in trade and give it a go. If not, sorry, I wasn't really a fan. Um, then we have these, which my granddad brought. Um... I don't know how to explain it, I think it's just for, like, it's a collection of three different stories in one book. Um, so yeah, we have issue 45, uh, and basically how they work is it's, like, you get in here a Batman story, um, a Robin's son of Batman story, and then a Batman Eternal story. Um, so yeah, the Batman one is from like issue 44 up to issue 52, so yeah, this is where, um, this one is where it's uh, Bruce Wayne as Batman, but then the ones on is when it's Jim Gordon as Batman. So yeah, these were pretty cool to get because I, as you can see, I sort of ended because zero year i don't know i just wasn't really in the mood to pick up zero year and then it went into end game see i'm now sort of reading the bloom story so in this you have the bloom story running through it so this is issue 47 issue 48 as you can see that's bloom's hands there um so yeah this is including the bloom storyline um Issue 49, this is more of Bloom, it just has it on the front, so people will buy it because it's Batman Dawn of Justice, even though that movie was... No. <laughs> um, we then have Issue 50, so they have some big Issue 50 on it. Um, we then have Issue 51, which continues the whole Gordon storyline. As you can see, that's him in his like police... Batman mech, don't actually, I haven't actually read these, so I don't know, and Bloom in the background. Um, we then have issue 52. Um, issue 53. Am I right? Yep, yep. Issue, and then finally, issue 54. Now, I haven't read all of these, but... It'd be fun to catch up on the Bloom story and sort of be caught up, I guess. Um, we then get onto the Flash, which I've I've completed all of these issues. So what I'm planning to do is split it up into 
the first story arc, do a review of that. I'll also do the same for the Batman run, just so that before the trade comes out in January, I can sort of have that on my channel. So, yeah, I don't know. If someone wants to see that, just ask and I'll do it. But yeah, we have issue three. This story is with Godspeed, and basically the whole the, uh, the story arc is named Speed City, and it's basically where uh, basically a speed force um, storm goes off and gives a load of random civilians powers. So it's up to the Flash and Star Labs to basically teach them, um, and yeah, and then he's and then Barry's also having he has a new partner. He's uh, Augustus, and he works in the crime lab with him. He also has his own sort of thing where he wants to find out how one of his loved ones died and and this sort of thing. Um, so yeah, issue three. Issue four. Issue five. I'm pretty sure in this one he goes on a date with Iris, if I'm sure. Can't quite remember. Or am I just being an idiot? Yeah, I'm just being an idiot. Never mind. I'm a, I'm thinking of the TV show. Then we have issue six, which is Godspeed. I'm pretty sure this is the issue where we find out Godspeed's identity. I'm not going to reveal who that is, but let me just check. Yeah, this is the issue where you find out Godspeed's identity. I thought it was a pretty cool like trick on who it is. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think it's cool and the different ways that he is similar to Barry in a sort of way. Um, hope I didn't spoil anything there. I don't know. I try not to. Then we have issue seven, which is another Godspeed. Like, I love the character of Godspeed. He's such a cool character. Um, we then have issue eight, where Kid Flash then joins in the fight. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Um, probably going to say pretty cool a lot. We then have issue nine, which was a really cool twist on that original story. Flash of two worlds. This is kid flash of two worlds. As you can see, you have the new 52 Wally West and the original Wally West. Um, Wally, I prefer the original Wally West, but yeah, the new Wally West is starting to grow on me. I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's a cool cover and a cool homage. Really enjoyed that. Um, we then have the start of the new story arc, which is the speed of darkness. Um, this is Wally and Barry going up against the character of the shade. He was in one of the latest flash episodes, but I don't think they did the character justice. Um, and then we have the latest issue, which is part two, and that is issue 11. Um, actually, or if I skipped, no, so yeah, um, I've been enjoying this run so far, uh, it's been fun, uh, I don't know, I've just really been enjoying it, uh, how I would compare it to the New 52 Flash, I don't know, I think I'll have to read a bit more, compare the first two story arcs, I think that's what I might do, do a compare, like, do a review of the first story arc of the Flash, and then compare it to the new 52. I don't know if that's a thing that I should do. Tell me down below if you like that idea. Um, we then have the Batman. We have Batman issue 4 of I Am Gotham. Um, this is pretty cool seeing like a version of Superman and Supergirl but for Gotham. Um, we then have issue 5. Where Mr. Gotham basically goes crazy. No, uh, Gotham basically goes crazy and starts beating up Batman. Because um, obviously that's what you do. Um, you then have issue 6. Which was the end of the story arc. Now these other books I haven't read yet. I just haven't had time sort of thing. We then have issue 7 which is Monster Men. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this because I'm not really a fan of events because, like, I enjoy it if it's an event that only goes through one book, like an exclusive event for that book. But then when it starts going through Batgirl and Nightwing, I sort of don't know where the story is. Like, this one is part one, 
but then the next one is part four so i sort of lost out most of the story if i'm only picking up this i don't know that's just the way that i see but yeah that's issue seven and that's issue eight um these are probably just going to be two that i skim read over see what i think i'll probably just have to pick this up and trade and see what i think we then have the new one which is i am suicide um which issue nine this is where batman i think has to create his own suicide squad pretty sure that's the concept but yeah issue nine the art looks good i'll give it that like the art looks pretty dark and i don't know just looks very pretty sort of thing there's batman and there's arkham asylum yes arkham so yeah uh looking forward to reading this story arc then have issue 10, which continues it. As you can see, you have some of the people, like you have uh, Batgirl, no, not Batgirl, Catwoman. I don't recognize some of those other characters. I don't know if that's uh, Hugo Strange. I don't recognize the other characters, so eh, don't get angry at me if I don't recommend that. I think that might be Bronze Tiger. I don't know. Um, ugh. And then we have finally the latest issue, which is issue 11, which has Bane. So he goes to recruit Bane from what I know. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, so yeah, uh, my plan is for two videos to come out soon. Don't know if it will be tomorrow sort of thing or the day after. Don't know. Um, but is to do a recap of sort of like the first sort of couple of issues of The Flash. And then the first couple of issues of Batman. And then tell me what I thought of the first story arc. And then when the second story arc finished, I'll do a recap of it. But yeah, um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Tell me what your, what books you're picking up or what books you're planning to pick up for Christmas. Two books that I'm planning to pick up for Christmas is The Flash by Jeff Johns Volume 2. And then Daredevil by Frank Miller Volume 3. Because they told me it was out of like print. And then it was suddenly in print when I went in, so I immediately picked that up and was like, yep, I'm getting this, you guys lied to me, I now have it, go fuck yourselves. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed my return, um, I was sort of dead for like three months, was it three months? August, September, October, November, four months actually. Yeah, sorry about that, but yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in another video. See ya.